Hey everyone, this is the quick version of how to split your audio tracks through Valorant using OBS, BB Audio Cable, and Voice Meter Banana. So to get started, we're going to head over to the links in the description. Let's go ahead and download and install BB Audio Virtual Audio Cable. Uh, that's this one right here for Windows or Mac if you have Mac. You'll need to run the installation as an administrator uh, once you get the driver pack, and then press install. Uh, once you confirm that, head over to the Voice Meter Banana page on the same website, second link. Scroll down over here to Voice Meter 2.0.6 zip package. Download that, install it the same way. And if you are splitting your Discord audio from your in game voice audio, you'll need one more additional audio cable. And they do offer that. You scroll down over here. Get cables A and B. It's a package. It's about five dollars. You donate to get it right here at this link. Well worth it. You'll only need A to split one more additional track, and you can do whatever you want with B. Uh, so once you've installed those drivers and installed Voice Meter Banana, and then open it up, and over here we're gonna have all of our inputs. These are not gonna say the same thing. These are gonna say hardware inputs, and then over here we'll say virtual inputs, you can right click and rename them to whatever you want. I would just name them in the order that I have them, your microphone, Discord, voice of in-game players or VoIP. And then over here, you can right click and hit, type desktop over here, communication or comms. Uh, and then we can get to setting the devices. So set your default recording microphone underneath microphone. For Discord, I would recommend setting it to um, cable output. It should be this one right here, uh, BB Audio Virtual Cable. I have it labeled as C because that's how I renamed the device. But what you guys will have is just what's here in the parentheses. You'll have BB Audio Virtual Audio Cable. You'll have Audio Cable A if you installed A, B if you installed B. Just use one of them and just make sure you know which one. I would just stick with the default Virtual Audio Cable for Discord. And then for the Voice of In-Game Players, you can select Cable A to keep it going in order. And then if you have an additional track that you need to separate in the future, you can do that on cable B. So once again, that's going to be your microphone. Plug it up. Make sure you select the WDM version of it. Then for Discord, you're going to select the audio virtual cable, also WDM version. Then voice of in-game player, do cable A, also WDM. For the desktop and communications, these will automatically be set to VAIO and AUX by default. You don't need to change those. Down here where it says A1, 2, 3, B1, and B2, just copy the way that I have it. I have B2 set for my microphone, B1 set for everything else. I don't have any of the A tracks selected on my microphone, but I do have uh, A1 and A2 selected on all the other tracks. And that's because over here, A1 is my speakers that I've selected here, WDM. A2 is my uh, headphones. You just want to select your audio devices. If you have just one, just at speakers, just headphones, just worry about A1. You can have A2 and A3 checked, but it won't play if there's no devices selected out of here that are any different than what you have selected on A1. Okay, next we're going to just minimize all this and you can hit our Windows key and type in sound settings. And for your output device, you're going to want to make sure that's set to VAIO. For voice meter input, BB audio, voice meter BAIO. And for your input device, it's actually going to be voice meter aux output, BB audio, voice meter aux VAIO. Select the aux output as your input device. Have you done that? We can minimize this and head into Discord. In Discord, click on your user settings, click on voice and video. So for your input device, you can select whatever device that you want the people in Discord to hear you on. This one doesn't matter, it's purely preference. Sometimes we'll have more than one microphone, one for recording and one for communication. This can be whatever microphone you choose. Your output device is what's important here. So in voice meter, I have mine set to cable A for Discord, but for you guys in the, uh, in the sake of the tutorial, you're just gonna wanna have your set to cable input, BB audio virtual cable, no A, no B. Just set it to that for Discord and that's gonna be on its own track. Then we can move on to Valorant. Remember, this is just the quick guide, so there's gonna be a lot of missing details here. This is just a do this, do that type video. So whatever I'm doing, you're copying basically. If you don't understand something, you might wanna go check out the in-depth tutorial that I have uploaded as well.
Now that we're in Valorant, we're going to click on our settings wheel at the top right, select settings and head over to the audio tab. And then we're going to select voice chat. For the input device, this is whatever you want the players to hear you on. So that could be whatever microphone you want, that one doesn't matter. For the output device, the first option, this is important that it matches up with what you have in Voice Meter Banana. So if you want the audio tracks to be merged on the same device as Discord, we're just going to set that to uh, Cable Input Verb TV Audio Virtual Cable. If you want it to be on a separate track that we specified uh, in Voice Meter Banana, then set that to Cable A. As long as it's a different device, it's a different track, and we're going to get to the OBS settings momentarily. You cannot change your sound settings to what output device the game audio comes out of. That's always going to come out of your default device. That's not something that Riot allows us to change in the game settings. So now we can close out Valorant and get to the OBS settings. Now in OBS, we're going to create a new scene, or if you have a scene that you want to put these audio sources in, you can just do that. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to right click here and add a new scene. Call it test scene. And in the sources, right click and add an audio input capture. And you're going to name this mic aux. And you're going to set this to be your microphone that you're using to record with. And for me, that's going to be the microphone Yeti Classic. I'm going to press OK. Then we're going to add another audio input capture. And this time we're going to name it VOIP or players, whatever you want to call it. Press OK. Select Cable A if you split it out. If you didn't split it and it's on the same track as Discord, you just stick with BB Audio Virtual Cable. I have it labeled here as Cable C again because I renamed the device in my actual device settings. But in the parentheses is what's going to match up on your end. BB Audio Virtual Cable is the standard first cable. Cable A is the additional cable. So if you split Discord from your voice of in-game players, you have that set to Cable A. If you have it on the same track, you have it set to BB Audio Virtual Cable. No A, no B. So I have it split. I'm going to select the Cable A. And we're going to right click again, add an audio output capture this time. We can name that Discord Audio. And we're going to select Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable because that's what we have Discord set to. And we'll press OK. And we're going to add one more audio output capture. We're going to name that Desktop Audio. Press OK. And then you can leave this as the default device. This is going to be what we set in Windows, which is going to be um, the voice meter VAIO. We're just going to leave that alone to default. Press OK. Next, we're going to click Settings on OBS. And we're going to click on Output. And then select the Recording tab. Now we're going to have audio tracks over here. And they might not be all checked for you. You want to make sure that at least track 1, 2, and 3 are checked. If you're splitting your Discord audio from the voice of in-game players, that's a fourth track. Make sure four is checked. You don't need to have five and six checked because that'll just create additional blank tracks if we don't have anything assigned to them. Press OK. Now click on the three dots next to any of the audio monitors in your mixer and select Advanced Audio Properties. And then you guys are going to have something really similar to this right here except your tracks are going to be probably all checkmarked on every box. You want to make sure you uncheck everything first and then select the check marks in the order that you want it to record. So on the first track, I have my desktop and game audio. That's what I want on the first track. So I have one selected. Then I have my own voice selected on track two. I have VoIP select to track three and I have Discord selected to track four. I don't have any other check boxes selected per track because I don't want to overlap audio. I want them to be separate. If I were to, for instance, put mic aux checked on track one at the same time as desktop game audio, that means that they're going to overlap each other and I can't lower one without lowering the other. You don't want this. You want one check box per track. Then you're going to hit close. And at this point, we should be all set and ready to test it out. Now you can open up uh, a game of Valorant and test like the party chat. You can have somebody talk to you there, open up Discord, have somebody speak to you on Discord, check your mic. Your mic should be lighting up like mine is here in the monitor. And then check your desktop and game audio when you're in the practice range on Valorant or when I'm speaking over this YouTube video, the desktop game monitor should light up.
you guys have any questions or this wasn't good enough, something didn't work, just go to the in-depth version. I know it's a little bit longer, but there's a reason why it's longer. The details can sometimes be the difference of whether something functions correctly or not. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or head to my Discord to leave me a message there. Thanks.